wonderful wedding, some lumberjacks, probably one of the best women's matches we've seen in AEW wrestling history. Matt Hardy and Hangman Page kind of on the same level, kind of. New number one contenders for the tag team champions, and of course the forbidden door is finally open with a shocking surprise at the end of Dynamite. We're recapping Beach Bash, which took place on February 3rd, 2021. Well Welcome back! This AEW show had some hype. This is the last big show before we move on to Revolution, which is a month away. And we have a lot to cover. We open the night with the Tag Team Battle of Royal, which will determine the number one contenders for those Tag Team Championships of Revolution. And even though John Silver did a lot of work, MJF and Chris Jericho got the win, but with tension. Towards the end, the bottom three was Chris Jericho, Sammy Guevara, and a member of Top Flight. While trying to eliminate Top Flight, Chris Jericho accidentally, accidentally eliminated his tag team partner, Sammy Guevara, to which he gets mad. In a backstage segment later on in the show, where they're trying to celebrate the fact that they're the new tag team champions, Sammy looks at Jericho and says, I'm starting to wonder if the Inner Circle Trust is still there. Because to me, it doesn't mean anything. To which Jericho runs to catch up with Sammy. Now, do I think they're really going to break up the inner circle after a year? Yeah. But what also happened is MJF told everyone that they need to have a serious conversation as Wardlow shoved everybody, well, the cameras, out of the room. Santana and Ortiz is in there. What do you think? We're having a conversation with Santana, Ortiz, Hager, MJF, Wardlow. Are we up to something? I'm intrigued. I'm Jericho saying, mm, I don't know what match we're going to have at Revolution for Guevara. Um, I'm hoping, I'm assuming that at Revolution, Guevara might be costing Jericho and MJF the Tag Team Championships because there's no way that the Young Bucks are losing those before they burst the Good Brothers. But the Battle of Royal was okay. Um... I didn't like that they started all outside the ring and then they went in the ring. Just my opinion. But eh, it was okay. Next we have the Lumberjack match, Eddie Kingston versus Lance Archer, and these Lumberjacks were all over the place. Oh my lord. There were several spots, several tables, well there was a table, there was, huh, it was crazy, but Lance Archer takes the win as Lance Archer also came out in the main event to help you know, make sure Omega and Good Brothers didn't get advantage on it. Moxley, Phoenix, and Pac. I want Archer to get the gold now. That's what I want. I feel like that's the next step for him after Darby settles the stuff with Team Taz. We gotta move on to make him actually have gold because right now he's too dominant for not having gold. AEW, what you doing? That's why I low-key think you should introduce another mid-card title, but that's just me, and I know a lot of people aren't going to agree with me. But this match was okay. I mean, Kingston's really good. It wasn't the best match they had. I thought their match last week was kind of better, but again, what do I know? And the wedding. Oh, this wedding. So, the wedding. So, if you saw rumors early in the day, we saw that this marriage was literally legitimate. And that Penelope Ford and Kip Sabian were having their real marriage because of the fact that, they, you know, you can't have a real wedding now because of COVID. So, the best, sec the best thing you get is a free wedding on All Elite Wrestling. Thank you, Tony Khan. The wedding's going on. Chuck Taylor's there. James Mitchell was the reverend, which was the best part of the whole thing, in my opinion. Say the vows. Kip cuts Penelope off, give him the best man speech, Chuck handcuffs Miro to the bottom rope, Arch cast the out of cake, brawl ensues, and it looks like Miro and Kip Sabian are not done with their business with the best friends, as this is another match that probably will happen at Revolution, if not in two weeks on Dynamite, if not, they'll probably announce it for next week's. Um, this was actually kind of the first wedding ceremony that actually went through the whole thing with the I do's and stuff, which was kind of cool. And I also love that like when they were doing like the final vows, like before the I do's, they were like, and in kayfabe, do you take this awfully wedded person? I was like, oh, I love wrestling weddings. Um, this was the first AEW wedding and it was really good. I liked it. It was fine, you know, not bad, not good, but 
you know, Jam James Mitchell just made the whole segment. It would have been funny if Eric Bischoff did it, but James Mitchell, whew. Matt Hardy and Hangman Page look to kind of be on the same page, no pun intended with that, as they versus Chaos Project. Now, the interesting thing is, as Hangman was about to get the 1, 2, 3, Hardy does the blind tag and, and pins, I believe it was Serpentico. I could be wrong. I think it was Serpentico. If, it, if not, it was Luther. Um, and gets the 1, 2, 3. I don't like that all these people are trying to attack Paige to, like, be in a faction. Because, you know, he's he's very hurt by the elite. Like, they just freaking kicked him out. And, like, Cody kind of, like, they kicked, they, they, they kicked out Cody, too. For no reason. Um, but I'm, I'm wondering to see where this goes. Maybe this is a new feud, you know. Kind, they're still kind of uncharted waters with the Dark Order if you saw on BTE. But I'm intrigued. This is definitely something I would love to see Hardy build up his faction. But like I said last week, I would like to see it with younger talent. Not like a hangman page. But like, you know, we have young talent out there. Anyone on Dark? Come on. And finally, last but not least, that amazing main event six-man tag with the Good Brothers and Kenny Omega taking on Pac. Ray Phoenix and John Moxley with Kenny Omega and the Good Brothers taking the win, but we were not finished there. This was a pretty good match as Don Callis was on commentary. There was a brawl that ensued at the end when someone came in the ring with a sweatshirt and a hat and a mask. And boom, that forbidden door has now broken because Kenta is here from New Japan. That is right. Is this finally the New Japan AEW crossover that we've all been waiting for over a year now for? This is crazy. I would love to see this match of revolution between him and John Moxley for the N for the New Japan Pro Wrestling United States Championship. Do I think it's gonna happen in Revolution? No, it's probably gonna happen on New Japan's turf. But this was such a great end, especially with NXT did have a very high anticipated show because we're two weeks out from Vengeance and Edge was on the card. So this was very much a way to be like, oh my god. And it's true, that forbidden door is open. Are we finally gonna see that partnership? We're gonna have to tune out next we're gonna have to tune in next week. I love Dynamite was really good. I love when they do the theme dynamite shows. I think it brings in more viewers and like I did say, NXT did have a really good show tonight. So I definitely had something to top there. Um I wouldn't say the best dynamite, I wouldn't say the worst. It was okay. I'm excited to see what we're gonna do next week. With Well, Cody's in a tag match. And they announced, I believe it's March 3rd, the Cody and Red Velvet versus Shaq and Jade. I thought they were going to wait till Revolution for that. I guess not. And yeah. Um, I will see you all Saturday for SmackDown Reviews and Return of the Messiah. Who's hyped? Make sure to like this video, comment what you thought about AEW Beach Bash. What do you think about the Forbidden Door being broken? And all that stuff. Make sure to check out the Bob Culture Podcast to see what my predictions were. Because I was 4-0, oh, baby. We did this before they announced the Matt Hardy match. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Kimmy Ochoa Wee. Make sure to check out some more videos. Subscribe, click that bell for more notifications. I will see you guys on Saturday. Peace out. Bye, guys.